morning guys! Well, it's, it's not really the morning right now. It's actually night right now. You may realize the clothing I'm wearing. Right now is the same as the ones that I was wearing in the previous video. That's because I'm filming this right after editing yesterday's video. Let's go ahead and have some fun. That's because, you know, Taiwan trip, packing, flying overseas, may not be able to edit the video on time. I need a buffer. So, today's video is about my deck collection. My huge, huge deck collection. Hey, what do you know? This is the last few decks on Area A side. Nice. Um, over here we have the chicken nuggets. I have three more blue ones and I think one more red one. The red ones came in this like jumbo chicken nugget box. I've already shown you what the cards look like, but did you know that the brick box is pretty cool as well? Check it out. 12 chicken nuggets in the style of real chicken nuggets. Check these out, check these out. Mm -hmm, I like that. Nice touch. Even at the bottom, there's a design. Really, really nice touch. I like that. TCC playing cards, I've talked about these before. They're basically like NOCs but slightly different in that uh, it has a different colorway and the box design is completely different. But other than that, it's basically NOCs. King's playing cards? Are these King's playing cards? No! No, no, no! It's quite common knowledge that Aviator playing cards and Torpedo playing cards and Mohawk playing cards all share the same design. Uh, I'm not sure how many other brands it is marketed under but did you know that there are Aviator playing cards check this out with a different design as well? I don't remember the story of how I got this deck but I really like this deck not, not so much for its design but for what it is an aviator brand deck that doesn't have the usual aviator deck design when chicken nuggets were launched Hanson Chien asked me like hey man do you want to help you know make some promotion video for it and then I realized yeah yeah why not it sounded like a good idea it sounded like fun but when glamour nuggets came out glamour nuggets are the the Chinese golden nuggets I realized that we were stumbling down a very very dangerous road. If these cards do as well as chicken nuggets, and chances are they will, then it promotes the idea that copying old designs and just rebranding it a little bit here and there is going to is going to work and it's going to make money and I don't want to support that. When the guys passed me this, I told them I can't make uh, some promotional material for them and they told me, ah, just take it anyway. So to the guys that passed me the Glamour Nuggets, um, when I told you that I couldn't produce any promotional material for you guys, it wasn't anything personal. It wasn't like, I dislike your brand or your company. I don't. I was just worried about the road that we were going down. Next up. Next up, Meet 2016 Playing Cards. Um, I believe I got this from TCC. A Chinese wholesaling company. You can check out the cards. This is what they look like. Right, the aces. Two kings are standard, but the designs are like this. So they feature the, the normal thickness borders that have become so rare nowadays. It, it kind of feels weird to even look at this because of how unused I am to to the, this thickness of borders. The cards feel good though. Okay, so that's it. That's the entire area A of playing cards. Uh, next up, let's open up area B. We'll go through some of the cards. Oh yes. All right, so in area B, I have multiple cabinets. This is just one of them. And this is the one that has the most repeating decks. These are the cards that I really really like and really really see like a future in collecting them. 
I'll show you guys what these cards are and I'll tell you a little story about each of them. First up, Absolute Vodcast. You guys know these cards. Um, I torture them from time to time. Just a while ago, they became very popular all over again. This is the exact same deck we tortured in that one video. And now they still feel absolutely pristine. Look, then they don't even look that bent anymore. They, they just look like slightly curved. I'm really surprised at how well these cards hold up. Especially considering how thin they are. Absolute Vodkas are very well known as being really thin, smooth finish playing cards. Um, common known fact, if you hold these cards up to a light, you can actually see through the cards. This is it. Maybe it doesn't translate that well on camera, but you actually can see through the cards. It's quite impressive. Now, Absolute Vokas are well known as ultra thin, ultra smooth playing cards. And their air cushion equivalent is the old, old start playing cards. Not, not the ones that are readily available right now. The ones that are brightly colored like this. They feel really, really great. If you have a chance to get one of these on the cheap, grab it immediately. I have about, like what, 30 of these? Highly recommended playing cards. The vintage old start playing cards are getting really hard to find. So I found one that feels very, very similar. And they are these ones, these streamlined playing cards. Vintage streamlined playing cards. I don't remember which year these were made, but I had I, I did a lot of research to figure it out and I think it's about 40 years old, I think. Yeah, these cards are old man. I mean look at this. These old starts are already pretty old. But if you compare the old starts against the cards beside them, you realize the whites on old starts and the whites on the streamlined playing cards. The old streamlined playing cards different. These cards, similar to old start playing cards, are ultra thin and have a linen-like finish. Even though it says smooth finish right here. Very curious, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. In this section, we also have some School of Courage playing cards. Don't need to talk any more about them, you guys know about it. We only have two more types of decks in this drawer, so... Cozies. I'm sure you guys know Cozy's. This is NDO's first project. Recently, some of my friends have sold these for a hundred Sing dollars, which is about 70 USD. Very happy for them. I've seen them on eBay. If you guys want to check it out, uh, you can go there and check it out. Be warned though, they, they are kind of expensive. And last up, gold and silver playing cards. Now these cards are very valuable to me, not because of the financial value, but the sentimental value. Look at that gold ink on, on these playing cards, so beautiful. I got this deck about 5 years after I started Kyrie Street, about 5 years. At that point of time, I was still a teenager and I didn't have a lot of money to spend on buying cards. And, and one of my friends was Leon Tai. Leon Tai was a good friend at that point of time already. And he came up to me around Christmas or was it my birthday? It, it's quite, the two dates are quite close so I often get it mixed up but um, he came up to me and then he gave me a present like Hey Jasper, uh, happy Christmas birthday he said and then I was like oh shit really thanks man and then I took the cards I opened up his present and lo and behold it's this deck of cards this, this exact deck of cards Look at the gold ink on this. Oh shit, it's so cool. I was really taken back because at that point of time, Leon was a very introverted person and he wasn't very outspoken. So I, at no point of time did I realize that he appreciated our friendship much. And then I find out sometime later that he had actually bought this, this set of cards for me. And he was, I think, in sec. I can't remember how long ago this was, uh, Sec 2, Sec 3? 
or was it later? I, I can't remember. It must have taken him quite some time to save up the money to buy these cards. And, and his gesture really affected me. Uh, it was at that moment that I realized like, oh shit. I guess he must, you know, really appreciate our friendship. And ever since then, I've treated him like, you know, my own brother. Like Leon, my bro Leon. So that's why I keep these cards. This gold and this silver bicycle playing card. The silver one I've used quite a bit more than the gold one. But check that out, how could I say no to that? Even though these cards don't really fit the theme of this, this chest, I still keep them in my most valuable decks drawer because of Mr. Tai. Um, there's also Aviator playing cards. Of course there are Aviator playing cards. How could I not have Aviator playing cards? Oh yes! Many people have been asking me how many board cards I have or how many whatever decks I have. Um, take into consideration that there's two layers of cards in this drawer. I'll let you guys figure it out yourself. As always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Which deck do you want the most? for the giveaway um, other than the Leon deck I, I really I, let me know what you think is the deck that you want the most and I'll consider doing that in a giveaway until next time thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys tomorrow bye bye